Bushcraft 412 and today let's talk about the Walter P22 22 long rifle pistol. Uh, let's start right away with the price. This gun runs around $300 to $320. Um, I believe I picked mine up closer to $320 about three or four years ago. It comes in this version right here which is the uh, three inch barrel and it also comes in a five inch barrel and there's also a kit to change between so if you do have the three inch you can upgrade to the five five you can downgrade to the three and vice versa neat little idea um, I like the three no interest in the five but I know the kit to change it over is in the neighborhood of like a hundred hundred and twenty dollars um, as I said this is a 22 long rifle um, this particular gun is not very picky when it comes to ammunition it really loves uh, CCI mini mags but I've never had much problem with reliability. Um, I've got about 6,000 rounds through this and I've had maybe six or seven stove pipes. Um, I guess there were some issues with the P22 before and there was a little bit of a redesign. And since the redesign, I guess the reliability has gotten a lot better. Uh, but I am aware there's a lot of old videos and old reviews out there where these things just used to be jam o uh, back in the day. Um, but luckily for me, not with this one, very reliable. 6,000 rounds in, still doing good. And I don't clean this thing very often. This gun's a big pain to clean. So I only clean it maybe every 500, 600 rounds or so. I don't clean it every time I go to the range. Uh, this is my favorite gun to bring to the range, by the way. I bring it with me every time I go. And I always fire off 50 or 100 rounds with this thing every time I go. Uh, this helps me keep fresh with my other guns work on my markmanship and keep up to date because I don't always have the money to go and fire off 50 or 109 millimeters. So I try and bring this every chance I can and fire it because it's cheap and I can 15 bucks worth of ammo will last me you know a whole bunch of trips to the range. Uh, with that said you know of course this gun is a great trainer great gun to work with on a, on a daily basis to work on your markmanship. Um, I also carry this gun concealed a lot um, Typically, mostly only in the evenings. I'm not allowed to carry for work. So if I am out and about, I do carry this gun concealed. Um, not the most comfortable to carry concealed, but I'm only carrying it for a couple hours, so it's fine for me. Um, going with that, with the carry concealed, let's move into next, the safety features of this gun. Um, before we do that, we're going to safety check. You should always safety check every gun when you handle it. No matter what, always a good safe practice. Uh, magazine release is in the trigger, which I don't really care for. Let's see if we can show you that. But it's down there, it's nice because it's ambidextrous. You can hit it with either hand. But I don't like being that close to the trigger when I'm trying to drop the mag. Uh, one of the neat safety features of this gun is you cannot pull the trigger without a magazine in. Very nice. Um, this gun acts as single or double action. So that's a big bonus for me. I do like, you know, every once in a while, especially when I'm backpacking, to carry one in the chamber with the safety on and the hammer down. So then you just have that double action long draw on that first shot. Just flip the safety, ready to go. Safety is ambidextrous, both sides, just like the uh, mag release, which is very nice. I do appreciate being a lefty, having ambidextrous features on a gun. Um, the grip has a replaceable piece on the end. Um, we'll see if you can see that. There you go. You can see this little piece here. There's a bit of a ridge on there. Focus. Bit of a ridge there. You can replace out this back piece. And, uh, replace out the back piece and, uh, for if you don't like the grip. Mine's just fine with me, so I have no problems with that. Grip-wise, as you can see, you can get two fingers on there, that's about it. Um, with the magazine in, I can kind of rest that on the mag. Feels good in the hand. Accuracy is pretty fair. Um, I'm not the greatest pistol shooter on earth, but good accuracy. Nice, clear sight picture. Uh, the biggest downfall of the gun is cleaning it clean it you have to pull down this tab here and then pull off the slide and getting it back together is a really big pain so I uh, don't clean this thing as much as I should to be honest 
Uh, if anyone's interested in a video of this being cleaned, let me know and I can uh, disassemble this and clean it and put a video up showing you exactly how to do it and a couple tips and uh, tricks I've learned along the way for doing it. Um, let's see. Oh, since we're on the topic as well, well, not that we're on the topic, but these things kind of float in and out as I'm doing these. Um, there is a rail for accessories on the bottom here. If I can get this to focus. Um, believe it's Picatinny, but it will uh, let you put flashlights and lasers and things like that on there, right here on the bottom. So it does come with that incorporated rail, which is another nice bonus. Not for me, I'm not big into lasers and lights, but the options are if you want it, just like you also have the option for the longer barrel. Um, I particularly, like I said before, my review is I love this little pistol. I fire it all the time. It's very reliable for me. Um, I know the older ones have problems, but you know I guess that's all in the past now. So, I mean, I definitely recommend if you're looking for a trainer. I think this is a great gun um, to get out and shoot and shoot on a regular basis because you can put 100, 200 rounds to this for cheap. Work on your marksmanship, work on your aim, work on your grip, work on your handling, your safety, all that stuff. Uh, I'm a firm believer in, you know, if you can't go out and shoot your 9mm or your 40 or your 45 as much as you like, because you just don't have the cash for the bullets, bring out your 22 and fire your 22. It helps keep you fresh, keeps you on target. Um, I mean, with that said, there's a lot of other 22s that will do the same thing you know, in the same price range, but this is one I like because I can also carry it concealed. Um, Size-wise, it's right around the same size as a lot of uh, larger caliber pistols, so it gets you in that habit of carrying a, a pistol this size as opposed to some of the really small 22s out there. And that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, that's it.